Welcome to iLecture Online. So take a, let's take a closer look at the torque and the angular acceleration that it causes. So let's say we have a solid disk. It is attached at the center, able to rotate, but it cannot roll. The mass is four kilograms, the radius 25 centimeters, and a force of 50 newtons acts tangentially along its edge. It therefore, of course, causes a torque, and the torque will equal to the moment of inertia times the angular acceleration. So the torque is going to be the force times the perpendicular distance. The distance here, of course, would be the radius. And if I can take that top off, there we go. There we go. So this here is the radius of the disk. So therefore, F times R is the torque caused by the force equal to the 1 half mR squared, which is the moment of inertia of the disk times the angle of acceleration. Solve that for the angle of acceleration and plug in the numbers, you get 100 radians per second squared. If you want to know the acceleration along the tangent, you then find the relationship between the tangential acceleration and the angle of acceleration. Solve for A and you get 25 meters per second squared. Remembering that radians is essentially a non-unit, you just put it there for reference. And that is how we relate torque to angle acceleration and then to what we call tangential acceleration. And that is how it's done. And that was 54.